So, hello everyone and welcome to this course on natural language processing. So, in this course we will we will be having this course for 12 weeks and in each week we will have 5 modules. So, today we are starting this course and this is the first module or first lecture for this week and this is basically the course introduction. What what are the different topics we will be covering this course, what are the different textbooks that you might be using for this and some other details that might be necessary for you. Okay. So, firstly my contact. So, if you have certain questions you can you may also write to me on this email id. So, this is my official email id and you might also want to visit my web page that is provided in, in this link. So, in this course we will have two teaching assistants. So, Amrit Krishna and Mayank Singh both are my PhD students and they are working on NLP. So, so the idea is that they can they will be able to help you with any of the queries that you are having during this course and they will also help you with the, all the assignments that we will be providing in this course. So, they will so in addition to me they will also be your primary contacts during this course. So, in this course we will be following two of the main so very very popular books on natural language processing. So, so Jurofsky and Martin is a very popular book. So, title is speech and natural language processing. So, so this is the second edition, but there may also be the third edition that is available. So, you, can, you might use second edition or any later edition for of this book for this course. Then there is a book by Manning and Schutz on foundations of statistical natural language processing by MIT Press that is again a very very popular book and we will be using concepts from both the books along with some other sources in this course. So, you can you can try to avail any of these two books or both the books if possible and with with the course some additional reading from this book will be helpful for uh, understanding the, the concepts and getting a good grasp on, on the course. So, in addition to the books you, you will also get the lecture slides. So, from the lectures that I will be taking this course all the slides will be made available to you and if necessary I will also point out to some additional uh, papers and any other material that might be helpful for you. So, that also we will provide on the on the course website and we are also thinking of giving you some IPython notebooks. So, so that you can also do some sort of hands on. So, these notebooks are so you will be using python for doing certain text processing tasks and so this will we will also provide you some basic instructions on how to start using these ipython notebooks. So, they will also be very very helpful for this course because this is NLP is mostly a and hands on. So, it is it is not very very nice just to have an NLP course to have only the theory theoretical knowledge it is important also so that given a problem you can start doing some processing over that. Okay. So, in, in for the evaluation so we will have assignments that will be given after every week throughout the course. So, that will constitute 25 percent of the of the whole evaluation of for this course. Okay. So, they will assignments will be on the lectures that are that are covered in this course also we might also give you some sort of programming assignments time to time in this course. So, they will all be in, in python plus so, they will be the final exam that will be constituting 75 percent of the overall weightage that will be after the end of this course. So, what are the different topics that we will be covering in this course? So, this course we have we are starting with some of the very basic topics that are required for understanding all the concepts in, in NLP. Then we will move to some applications. So, what are the various basic topics that will be covering this course? So, we will start with the text processing. So, given a text data how do you start doing some processing over that? So, that will include how do I tokenize it that is breaking into various words. How do I start doing lambdaization, stemming, find out the root words and so on. Then we will start with very foundational topic on language modeling that is how do I use the ordering information inside the language for developing certain applications. So, how can I use this statistics? Then we will go to the morphology that is what are different categories of words and how given a text data how do I start finding out different categories of words. So, what are the different applications or algorithms that I can 
I can use. Then we will go to the to a high level, finding out what are the different groups in the sentence, how they are connected to each other in the topic of syntax. Then we will move to sem semantics, where we will have various models of semantics using lexicon in lexical semantics and using the distributions in distribution semantics. And we will also touch upon the topic on word embeddings that is very, very popular uh, as of now. So finally, we will also cover topic models. So, so how do we find out what are the various topics that are covered in a given text data and how do I make use of this in various applications. Then after once the basic topics are covered, we will also devote some time, especially in the last three weeks on how do you start applying these basic concepts for certain applications. So NLP is a very, very broad topic and you will see innumerable applications where you can apply all these concepts. But to give you an idea, so we will take three very, very interesting and important applications in NLP. So we will start with the topic of entity linking and information extraction. This will be the first application that we will cover. Then we will go to text summarization and classification. Finally, we will end up with opinion analysis and, and opinion mining. So this will be the, the final application that we will be covering. And we will hope that whatever basics and some aspects of application that we cover in this course will help you in taking any new problem and starting to think of your own approach for solving that. Okay? So idea of this course is that you, you are not only aware of what are the tools available, you can use them on your own, but also you, are, you know what are the basic algorithms, what are the foundations and given a new problem, you can think of, a, think of an approach on your own and build your own tools. So that is the, the goal of this course. And as I said earlier, this is mainly an introductory course. But all the basics that, that are required for dealing with any advanced topic will be covered. So if you take any new research topic that is not covered in this course, the idea would be whatever knowledge is covered will help you to at least start understanding the topic and then go deep into that. So now, so a few words on why do we need to study NLP. Okay. So, so what does, so what is NLP? So NLP is all about processing text data. So now you see in, in on, on everywhere, so you can find out there is abundance of text data. Okay? And you can also see the text is the largest human knowledge repository that you, that you have. So, so what are the various sources where you find all this knowledge in, in text data? So you, you can think of all the Wikipedia articles, for instance, all the news articles that come daily. Okay, all the scientific articles, they are available in text format, patents, all with all the social media, all your tweets, Facebook posts, and everything is also available in the text format. So now there is abundance of text data, and this is all quite unstructured. Okay. So to be able to make use of this information and build some nice applications, you should know how to process this data. And that is where NLP comes into picture. So yeah, so with recently with all the tweets, Facebook posts, comments, over all the news articles everywhere and Quora, so you have an abundance of text data and you should, you should be aware of some tools by which you can do certain analysis of this data. So now, so, so this is one thing that we have a lot of text data available. So there is another, another problem that so, so much data is available that is unstructured but this is not in a single language, for example, English. It's not in English. So, so this gives you some, this chart gives you some statistics. So, so what you will see here, so this is from November 20, 2015, how many millions of users are there in, on internet in different languages. So you see, yes, English users are the highest. At the same time, you have lots and lots of Chinese users. And then Spanish, Arabic, and Again, you see a large number for all the rest languages that are not covered in this chart. So you will not be able to understand all the languages so, and you will need a tool that can take any given language and try to put it in the language that you can understand. Okay? So some sort of tools are, are necessary so that they can automatically find out what is the language provided in this document, how do I uh, translate it to some language that I know and so on, doing some information summarization over there and translation. Okay. So you need NLP in all of these aspects. 
So now, so this lecture I'll just end with dealing saying what is NLP. Okay. So what is the main goal of NLP as such? What for this research field of NLP? So if you think about it, so so there is a very very broad uh, scientific goal of this field of NLP, and that is can we understand language? Can we have a very very deep understanding on how humans process language? Can we teach computers how to understand language? So that is, I'll say, a deep scientific goal behind all the NLP. So can we teach computers on understanding language, and they can maybe respond with humans the way humans do, and and so on. So that is very very long standing goal of NLP. So this we would say is mainly a fundamental scientific goal. Okay, I want to have a deep understanding of broad natural language. But with that, we also have a very very practical and engineering goal. And what is that? So the goal is that, so yes, there is a lot of text data available. Even if I do not know how to uh, how to make computers understand that fully, can I still make use of this data to build some very very nice applications that that will be helpful for people in their daily life, and that you can see from your own life. So how many different applications that you might be using? Okay, starting from the search, that is a very 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 uh, common application that everyone uses. And so you will see in in uh, a lot of other applications, uh, starting from news recommendations and and all that that you are using in your daily life. Okay, so so this is the engineering goal for NLP. That is, can I design, implement, and test systems that will process natural language, and that are designed for very very practical applications that we can use in day to day life. So this is the engineering goal of NLP. And that is what we will be mainly focusing in this course in NLP. Okay, so all the concepts and and algorithms that we will discuss in this course are mainly focused towards various engineering applications of NLP. So, so with that, I again welcome you for to this course. So, so in the next module or the next lecture, we will discuss what what do we actually do in NLP by taking some simple examples. Okay.